Joseph Callenger, master shoemaker and God. Because mm. Joseph Callenger was a proud small business owner. They just want to shut down my business. <laughs> they call me Crazy Joe. But around this time, Joseph's mind began to deteriorate. Uh oh. Uh -oh. A bright light appeared before him, and in the center was a figure Joseph believed to be God. Joseph Callinger, you are a special person, and you <laughs> must undertake a special mission. Your mission is to control the brain through the feet. This is what I, God of the Universe, command you to do. He now had a mission from God. Ooh. At oh. the beginning of 1969, Joseph bought a house, but he also planned to turn it into his own private retreat and as a pathway to hell. Yeah. So this is no man. Well, when the hole was finally done, Joseph banished the children from the home forever. He would climb a ladder down to the bottom of the hole. This is where I could actually go. Well, okay. Yeah. This was nice. One night in the hole, the voices came. Pistara, Kyristara, Kyrie, Maria. And it went on and on and on like that. I'd already done over 40,000 experiments, but I'd never done experiments on animals before. I wanted to experiment on the connection between the hamster's feet and their brains. When I got them home to East Fletcher Street, I saw that there was no way I could make shoes and wedges for my hamsters. But I promised to make them little hats and suits if they listened to me and survived. When Joseph was 35, the same figure showed back up and said, Joseph, I control you now. <laughs> oh, no. The commandment from God to be the savior of mankind through orthopedics had died. Joseph's job now was to personally murder every single person on the planet by destroying their sexual organs. Oh, that's going to take a lot of time. After this, his children became a part of his delusions. He brought his 12-year-old son, Michael, into the fold, and it wasn't long before God upped the ante to murder. The destruction of the hamsters was the beginning. Now the time has come for you, with Michael's help, to kill three billion people. I heard a lot of talk like that from the Lord in the summer of 74. Joseph and Mike told Joey that they were going out there to take some spooky pictures. So the three of them set out for the abandoned shops and found a ladder on a platform above a stagnant pool of water in the basement. Let's go down here. This one's going to be real creepy. This one will get a real good shot. Oh, hell yeah. This is creepy as shit. Oh, look. It's a, a stagnant pool. My favorite. So Joey, super excited that he was going to get his picture taken, stood up against the ladder they found and let his father and brother chain him to the handles. Joseph tipped the ladder into the pool of water and watched his own son drown. On the day that the Philadelphia police told him that he was their main suspect in the murder of Joey Callinger, Joseph was walking down the same street where he killed his son when he saw the head of a boy. What's up? And when Joseph got to his door, the head came close and showed itself. So Joseph unlocked the door, threw his keys at the apparition, and ran inside. <laughs> Don't bring my keys back here! <laughs> Later, Joseph was once again working on an old pair of shoes when the head reappeared. <laughs> My name's Charlie! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I belong to you, and you belong to me! Bye-bye! <laughs> and then it just disappeared. And the next time Charlie showed up was during another interrogation by the police. Every cop in the room would love to see you in your coffin! <laughs> Mr. Callinger, it seems like you're a little distracted. No, I'm, a little, I'm a little distracted. <laughs> you, you are looking a little I'm distracted. A little distracted. Just, yeah. just getting back to your son here for a moment. Then you kill him not one time, not maybe one time, but maybe not one. that I remember. Okay. Charlie, I'm going to need you to be quiet, okay? That's now, a who's, severed head who's my friend. Oh, there's a severed head behind me. Yeah, 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 yeah. But don't go. He's cool. He's cool. Well, when Joseph told Charlie to get the hell out of there, now's not the time, Charlie. Right. Charlie said, Joseph, you old horse's ass, chicken brain. Fuck her up! You're a real laugh, you know that? If you're gonna be God, then I'm the Holy Ghost, and I'm gonna fuck the Virgin Mary! Wow! <laughs> All right. So on January 17th, 19 cops burst into the Callinger home and arrested one of the most bizarre and dangerous monsters Philadelphia has ever seen. I just want them to see. <laughs> I want them to know how crazy I am. You know, you know, client ca Callinger, just you, you are the crazy. You are it, dude. Do you mean that? Do you mean that? You do mean that. that. You can be crazy, I promise you. Really? Yeah. What do you think, Charlie? <laughs> 
if you do have any mental health issues, yes. please <laughs> seek help. That's Alone. what I always say about mental health. It is not your fault, but it is your responsibility. So if you're experiencing these sorts of uh, delusions, these sorts of things, like get help as soon as you can.